Peace and blessings. So this is day one. <laughs> and what I'm doing for breakfast here, I laid everything out so y'all can see it. I just cooked some quinoa. Look at that. You can probably see the steam coming off of it. So I decided to start off with the white one. You know, yesterday I showed you that I got the white one and the tricolored one. So we're just doing the white one for breakfast. And if you're not familiar with quinoa, you know that it's cooked when um, the little the little tail comes out. <laughs> I call it a little tail. Uh, maybe you can see it if I just put a lot on the spoon. They open up and that's how you know that it's done. So that's my quinoa. also have my water here I put one two and there's another one up there three pieces of lime that I sliced up I put it in there and this is 22 ounces of water so you know that I'm doing a half a gallon of water per day so I'm going to have to do three of these every day and right now it is it's right at nine o'clock and I'm starting so uh, we will see <laughs> hopefully I can get through it and then along with that the actual actually the very first thing that I'm about to put in my mouth is my multivitamin so I do new chapter and y'all this is 48 vegan tablets I'm sorry 48 vegetarian tablets and this is roughly $20 which I think is a really really good deal because I was using a different brand previously and that brand it was really good I really liked it but it was more expensive you only got about 30 or 36 capsules for $20 sometimes they would add an extra six but the regular amount was 30 for $20 so when I found this for 48 and let me show you but when I found oh, let me finish what I'm saying so when I found this with 48 capsules or tablets rather for $20 I was like yes and you can take it on an empty stomach which I absolutely love so let me actually pop this right now All right, so Peel is out of the way. We have our breakfast here. I'm just bowl this hot. With our quinoa, <clears throat> walnut, blueberry. Ooh, I have a frog in my throat this morning. My coconut oil and a god nectar, y'all. Oh, and when I was boiling the quinoa, well, I started boiling the water first. In the water, I put a little bit of sea salt and then I put the quinoa in there. Just FYI if somebody's going to do that. And then um, either doing, during or after I eat this, I'm going to take the very last of this black seed oil I have. I actually have a Amazon shipment coming in today um, because this is pretty much gone. I might, it might not even be a tablespoon left in here. It is almost gone. And I got this off of Amazon too, y'all. It is eight ounces and it was right under $20 which is one of the most affordable black seed oils that I found and it is like it's legit you know sometimes when you get black seed oil um, if you get the cheap one or one that's watered down or whatever you don't necessarily feel the effects this one is strong it's the real deal holy shit. 
yeah y'all so that is breakfast i will come back later and show y'all what i'm having um somewhere towards the middle of the day i'm not necessarily a lunch girl but you know i gotta eat <laughs> so because like i said i'm not trying to lose weight so all righty y'all so i am checking in it is 4 13 right now and so far today after the breakfast i just showed you i had um a part of this I was about to say a slice <laughs> but I had um, part of this huge mango here and I am now on my second little jug of lime water yay me and right now I'm about to do a, a protein shake what I call a protein shake so this is what I have in there so far and that is some cooked quinoa along with I think I put like three or four dates in there and they're open because I took the seed out of those and I put some almond butter I also put some frozen banana those are back in the freezer and hemp seed and then I'm going to put some of the spring water and blend that up and I'll show you what that looks like now everything here is alkaline but everything here is not on Dr. Sabi's list so I like to mention that um, whenever I'm um, having something that's not on his list for the people that are trying to only stick to his list so the things that are not on his list is the uh, almond butter he does not approve of almonds however almonds are I would say almonds are neutral they're not necessarily uh, alkaline nor acidic and then as far as bananas um, I believe on his list it's like the burrow bananas or the green bananas these are just regular frozen bananas um, I couldn't find the little small ones but inshallah God willing next time I go to the store I will look for those specifically so those are the things that are not on the list everything else is a thumbs up so if you are just sticking to his list then just omit the bananas and the almond butter okay so I'm gonna show you what this looks like So I want to show you, oh no, my spoon fell in there. <laughs> I did not intend for that to happen, but I want to show you the consistency of this. It is, it's really thick. So I think I want it, I think I want to thin it out just a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit more spring water to it and probably two more dates. I tasted it and I want it to taste a little bit more like dates so I'm gonna show you in just a minute and here is what it looks like the second time around perfect so I added two more dates in there and I'm using medjool dates so I added two more dates a little bit more spring water and then uh, I put some ice too <laughs> so yep this is my protein shake All right, y'all, so here is my last meal of the day. I have, y'all, for some reason, I got a craving out of nowhere for okra and tomato. So I just threw okra, tomato, some onion, and seasonings in a pot and kind of made me an okra tomato soup there. And then I have here some patties that are, these are, uh, mm, I'll maybe have to make a list of what I put in here if anyone is interested. But number one, they're not burnt, okay? These were made with uh, teff flour. So teff flour is naturally dark, and I made a dough out of it, and I made these little, um, I guess, kind of like flatbread tortilla things, and then just stuffed them with this alkaline meat, <laughs> which is not really meat, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then I also have a sauce that I made here, which is a vegan avocado ranch dip. And then guess what y'all, I am on my third 
and final jar of water. So once I complete that, I will have a total of 66 ounces of water today. Hey! So yay me for completing half a gallon. Half a gallon is 64 ounces, so half a gallon and two ounces, okay? All right, y'all, so this is my mixture that I put inside my patties, and I know this looks like ground meat, but it is not. The base of it is a mixture of three things. The Baby Bella portobello mushrooms that y'all saw me buy yesterday, and then I had some chickpeas that I soaked in water, put those in here, and then also some walnuts that I soaked. So that those three I put in my food processor and it came out looking something like meat and then I cooked it here with some grapeseed oil and it looks like uh, you know really really fine ground meat. And then along with that I put in some onions and yellow bell pepper, tomatoes, tarragon, um, salt, lots of seasonings. I just threw stuff in there. So that's what I came out with and that's what you see inside my patties. Those are two other patties that I have. Well, that part looks a little toasty. But y'all, I promise the whole thing, like, I know what, I know what people are thinking, like, that thing is black. It's teff flour. And if you're not familiar with teff flour, just look it up and you'll see that it's naturally dark. And then this is my um, okra and tomato onion soup mash. I don't know. I just had a craving, so I just threw it together. All right, y'all. So that is it. This completes day one. I think I did pretty good. I really, I think I did. So inshallah, God willing, I will continue for the next 20 days. Peace, blessings, love, and light. God be with you. Bye.